everybody. I hope this little quick tutorial helps everybody. I'm going to show everybody how to curve your text to a template. Um, I actually snagged this one off of the beginners group probably five, six months ago. And honestly, I had to figure it out myself because there was no instructions for this. So I hope this helps. First thing we're going to do is um, going to come in here and grab some text. To how to curve text to a path. And I'm going to show you real quick why this won't work. I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit because we want it to fit on the path. If you double click on this, grab this little plus and drag it over, you'll notice that it, it's not fitting to the lines. And one of the reasons why it's doing this is because it sees this image as a square. So if you click on it, it's actually grabbing it to the square. So we need to trace this image. I'm just going to do a quick trace. I'm not going to do this as a <laughs> very perfect trace. I'm just doing a quick two second trace just to show you how to use this image. We're going to come in here, click on select trace, select our object. We're going to come up here, grab our high pass filter, drag it to maybe about 210, 215. That's about good enough. Click on trace and then drag off our image. Select it and then delete it. What you're left with are these red trace lines. And you'll notice if you come up here and click on the cut, you'll see these cut lines. And that's what Silhouette is using as our path. So if we come up here and double click on our words, grab our little plus sign and drag it over here, it will grab to the, excuse me, grab to the lines. And you can even move it down you know each one. This is really good um, if you are doing a wine glass or a tumbler with one, two, three, you know, one, two, three, four, five lines and you need to put five lines of text on a tumbler or a glass. So let me grab that one more time and we'll put that up there about right there. Sometimes I've noticed your letters, in fact, let me come down here real quick and show everybody what I'm trying to get at on the next issue. Sometimes you have an is, uh, you're trying to put your text on a line and it doesn't always fit. I want to stick it on that one just to kind of show everybody. When you have your image, your words right where you want it, if you come over here and grab this slider bar, and you'll notice right now that I have an arrow, it's not going to do anything because every time you click on it, it's going to disappear. So what you need to do is hover your mouse over the plus sign and you'll notice there's a little plus next to it. And you can um, oh come on now. Sometimes if you hover your mouse over it you'll get your plus sign again. There it is. And if you just click your left mouse and drag up and down, you can put below and you'll notice your letters are actually closer together or you can push it out and your letters are spaced farther apart. Excuse me. And you can put it where you want it. And you'll notice that it still conforms to the same curvature. So that looks good to me. We're going to select our words, right click, make compound path, and then we can select our box and we can delete that. Now you can cut this out and apply this on your wine glass, your tumblers, and once you applied it to your round object, the letters will actually be smooth. What you may need to do is if you go into your edit points, maybe enlarge the image, you can get more of a straight line. I hope that helps everybody.